bringing the people behind our food to life. Basically, there's four quarters to an albacore. So right now, she's taking off the top. They call that the loin. And she's cutting that all the way down to the backbone, peeling the skin off the top because it's easier to peel it, peel it when it's still on the fish. So that's the top loin of the fish. Now this is the belly piece. Belly piece is always going to be richer and fatter. It's got more, more fat to it. All of that is fat there on the bottom. So she just gets as close as she can along the backbone there to get as much meat off as possible and pull that skin. It only works on the top loin to pull the skin like that. It doesn't work on the belly loin to do that. You usually figure for recovery out of a whole tuna with nice fish like this, big fish like that, you can get half recovery of meat, so 50%. So the carcasses are Terrific crab bait. That's what a lot of people use for crab bait is, is albacore tuna heads or carcasses. Now we're actually going to be taking ours over to Bio Oregon. And Bio Oregon grinds it, they dry it, they make a pellet out of it, and it goes into aquaculture programs throughout the throughout the world. On the bottom loin, you need to skin it with your knife. It's a little more delicate than the in the top loin. Then after each loin is cut, you need to trim out this bloodline, which is, which is what she's doing. Albacore tuna has a relatively short um, like shelf life, or it, it does uh, deteriorate a little faster than, say, salmon does. So you do have to process it quick. And this is really, the bloodline is strong. So the, the flavor of it is quite strong. That's why you want to trim that out. Would you say you can fillet a fish from start to finish in five minutes? I don't know, probably. Don't be modest. Three to five minutes, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And Janita here, she's, what, what, what works well for us is kind of when Shirley just, she'll butcher the fish. And then Janina over here and Anna are trimming. And so they're taking out the bloodline and the, and the bones and that belly skin. And so that's, that's the most efficient way for us to do it because she can butcher fast. It takes a long time to do the, the trimming and that's what takes the, bu the, bulk, of the, yes. the bulk of the time. Today we're going to learn about canning sardines. Every year Marjorie and I get together and we do tuna, but we decided to do something a little different and we wanted to share it with you. 